Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And it is a month like this that speaks powerfully to new beginnings. We will have a rare phenomenon taking place. We will start the month on a new moon and we will end the month on another new moon. But these two lunar events and the full moon mid month for that matter, have very different energies, very different signatures indeed. And in different areas of your sky. If I had to say, if I had to give you a little bit of a preview, it is by far the new moon that we end the month with that I think you are going to love very much. But let's take it one at a time. I'm gonna start with right out of the gate. Now, the new moon that takes place for most of the planet will happen right around the first or the second, but some may experience this very late uh, as we end last month. However, this is certainly energy we are feeling right out of the gate. Now this new moon is happening at the very top of your sky and this is a part of the sky that has a lot of perspective if you will, just like it would if you were at the top of a mountain or top of a building. You're able to see far and wide, you're able to see with a greater sense of destiny and direction from this part of the sky. Now on a more practical level, it has to do with career, social standing, life purpose, your sense of connection to a higher, more loving vision for your life. All of that is covered here. Now what makes this particularly important for you is that this new moon will be happening hand in hand with Venus, yes. Now that in and of itself can represent blessings and ease and joy, as you pursue your goals. However, it is also going to be speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Now that can bring with it changes. Now, new moon, new opportunities, changes, conversation of tension, changes that come with tension. It's that simple. This sense of things uh, feeling challenging, things evolving, or needing to make adjustments very quickly in ways that you're not really sure how you feel. In the best of circumstances, there is this sense of a healthy motivation, a, a desire to own this energy, a desire to move yourself in the career or life purpose direction that you feel inspired to go. That's one way to use this energy, to turn it into action. But sometimes, some changes have a way of just showing up. And it may be that it is external circumstances that are asking you to change your role in some way or to think about what else it is that you could do, whether it is a new project, could be a new boss as well with this energy. Regardless, it looks like you are motivated to put in the time to move your life forward. And it is going to be, as we navigate further into the middle of the month, that you are gonna find yourself being able to find a certain groove, at least where it comes to the career stuff, before you shift gears. And the shifting gears happens with the full moon in the middle of the month. This full moon, by contrast, is happening at the very foundation of your sky, the bottom of your chart. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with home and family of origin. This full moon is speaking with Mars and Venus. Both of these planets are across the sky. And both of these planets will at this time be at the very end of the part of the sky that has to do with career. I feel as I look at this that there may be some sense of you looking at your foundations, looking at what you've put into place, looking at how solid the ground is on which you stand in order to aim as high as you desire to go. Whether it is in a metaphorical sense, in terms of understanding and reflecting on whether or not you've put in the work and put in the time, or whether it is a literal sense in terms of a home-based business or a home-based career, this can be a very powerful time where you are considering where it is that you wanna go and trying to find balance between what is gonna make you most comfortable. What is it that is going to feel like home to you? 
For some, at this time, there can be changes uh, where it comes to where you live. Uh, it's a full moon. It tends to bring things to fruition. So whether it involves buying, selling, or new roommates, all of that becomes possible here. For some, this may be a time when you have to spend time with your family of origin, perhaps your parents. And if that's the case, well, with this energy, it looks like you may have to make some compromises between uh, what it is that you're hoping to do or what it is that you are responsible for in terms of your career and where it is that you feel you desire to be now. Now, it isn't just about this full moon, but the sky around it is very powerful as well. In the days leading up to that full moon, two big planets are going to change directions. Jupiter will go direct and Uranus will go retrograde. And what is happening in Uranus, with Uranus rather, is especially important for this full moon as it is the ruling planet of this full moon. And Uranus, of course, as I spoke of in the Uranus special horoscope for your sign, is moving through your opposite sign. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with partnerships. It has to do with your one-on-one -on -one alliances. Now, this can be personal partnerships. It can be business partnerships as well. But regardless, you are looking to what is happening with another person and how that may speak to these areas I mentioned at home in terms of your career. You are looking to whether or not other people are supporting you and whether or not dynamics need to change for you to feel more at ease and for you to go where it is that you desire to in a higher sense. Chances are with Uranus going retrograde or newly retrograde, a part of you is going to be turning inward as well, looking at whom it is that supports those higher goals that you have and whom it is do you truly feel at home with. Now, as we get to the end of the month, that is when we are going to have the amazing new moon that I think is the high point of the month. This new moon is happening close in the sky with Venus, Mars, and Mercury. When we have such a concentration of energy, it represents a time when whatever it is that is beginning again, as does with the new moon, it's not just speaking to one area of life, but has a more larger sweeping effect. Now you add to this the fact that this new moon, unlike the new moon that we start the month with, this new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. This is surprise and delight and just luck. This is a sense of things moving in a direction that feels truly fortunate to you and things moving quickly as well. Circumstances changing very rapidly. For you, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. It is going to be the people that you know now that are gonna be part of helping you to change so many things in your life. So many areas of your life can be blessed at this time. It is the new people that you connect with that can open up all kinds of doors for you for a very long time to come. So if there ever was a time to be social, if there ever was a time to accept invitations, this really would be it. So make sure that you are out and about. If it is and if it feels like there isn't a lot going on in terms of friendships, well, I would say you be the one to organize something because it is in those spaces among groups that some of your greater opportunities are gonna surprise you. Now, this can also be related to professional groups as well. So where it is that you gather with others or where it is that you are involved in a group endeavor, it is all these areas that are especially blessed. And if it is that you are asked to be involved in a group endeavor, well, with energy like this, it does suggest that this truly may end up being a lucky break for you in the fullness of time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, as I said, Uranus in your opposite sign is going to go retrograde. I think that this is among the big news for you when I look at the overall month in the context of love. It is Uranus's turn inward, turn retrograde, that's gonna allow you to consider more deeply what it is that partnership means to you and how it is that your partnerships now are wanting to evolve, wanting to help you to live something that feels more authentic, more mutually respecting. And do you feel like you have that right now? Or what do you feel is required of you to have that? 
Now it is when a planet changes directions that its energies are the most strong. This is very powerful energy indeed that can bring quick happenings and quick changes in the context of love. If you are open to meeting someone new, well, it can be that you connect with someone very much by surprise in the middle of the month. However, you do want to be a little mindful with Uranus. It's not necessarily a stable energy. It's a very quick moving energy. So whatever may transpire with another person, I would say strive to stay in the moment and know that whatever happens truly is for your highest good. Allow this to be an experience that liberates you, that frees you in some way that you need. For those of you just getting to know somebody, this is going to be a real moment of truth for you. Um, and energy like this can be very make or break. It can be an energy that asks you to be more honest with yourself about why it is that you are attracted to this person, what it is that that might say about you. And in so doing, you'll be able to understand more deeply whether or not you feel that this is a person that you can move towards a, a healthy, uh, mutually respecting and evolved relationship towards with. And for those of you in an established bond, uh, having Uranus go retrograde in this part of the sky, it tends to bring with it some uh, erratic behavior, okay, for lack of a better word, uh, from your partner. So your partner may be a surprise a minute. It is towards the end of the month that love and friendship go very well together. So you being social with your partner can be a great way uh, to help the two of you feel that much more closer. But at least in the middle of the month, yes, surprises abound and they really could go in all kinds of directions, but that's okay because by the time we get late into the month, it looks like things are still surprising, but in a way that feels just a little bit easier, a little bit more invigorating. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's gotta be the new moon late in the month. I think that that is fun, it is alive, and it truly is other people now that are going to surprise you and delight you with new opportunities. And chances are you will feel that as a result of who you know, you truly have stumbled upon a lucky break. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.